Hello and welcome to this webinar. My name is Jeremy Miranda. I'm a channel enabler of BioMIT and I'm in charge of these sessions today. We're going to see how to create an activity which includes the attachment and text of an email. This is, be, this is done using CRM for Outlook. The content of today's sessions is that we're going to review how it works and the requirements. We will learn how to do the server component configuration and, of course, the review of the functionality. How it works. The file goes through a third-party software, not the Boyan portal. As you know, CRM for Outlook connects directly to our Boyan portal, and the Boyan portal establishes a direct encrypted connection to your server anywhere it is. This uh, configuration is not really that good. It's not really that fast. It's, it's encrypted for the files, for the creation of the files. So we created a, a different configuration for the for the transfer of the files between your local between your computer and the files you receive through an email, and how to upload them directly in SAP Business One. To keep this uh, confidentiality and, of course, the security of your information, we created uh, we created a synchronization with Amazon S3, Dropbox, and FTP. It is mandatory to have one of these accounts again through our portal with the direct connection that we establish it's not possible to transfer the file the files directly so you need to have one of these addons for demo purposes i'm using today dropbox but we all you can also use the other accounts defined over there first of all once we have our account in my case is a dropbox we have to open the server component configuration once you open the setup attachments you need to define, select the provider, and then use your login to the account you selected. In my case, I use a Dropbox. I use my email, my credentials. Once you log in with your credentials, then we receive uh, like uh, an API key. This API key established the zero for Outlook, the connection that we need to transfer the files. This information is stored in the server component configuration. So only the users that are administrators and have the user and password to set up the server component are the ones that are allowed to do this configuration or change the credentials. So we are always worried about your security. Once this server component configuration is done, then we can jump directly into the functionality. But let me show you how it works. I already did this configuration. I have an activity over here previously created. As you can see, it is uh, linked to this user Warner Richard with additional information and with attachments. But how I reached to this point? Well, uh, once we finish the configuration in the server component, if I open or if I select an email, I'm gonna go to my CRM for Outlook tab, and if I hit Create New Activity. Now, uh, now I will see an extra field over here. If I'm not done with the configuration or if something is wrong, this little icon, this little option disappear. But now since I've done the configuration in my computer, now I can see the attachments uh, logo, the attachments here, the icon, the button. And this means that it's going to attach this file that I've sent previously through this email. So the file that is attached in the email is over here. This is a Protomax scan brochure. And here is the today's date of the attachment. The system do this step automatically. I can also select, I can also select the line and delete it in the case I don't want to have this attachment automatically because the system do it automatically. So you can see it already selected the business partner the contact person, the body, there is no link document, no user defined field selected by predefined, but I do have the attachment. Once I finish with the creation of the new activity, if I hit save and close, then the system is saving the activity in SAP Business One 
and now through my Dropbox is sending the file directly to SAP Business One. Now we'll go to activity in SAP Business One. We can see that there is a new activity, the number 31, the one that we saw that it was displaying the message in the CRM for Outlook. I have the body, the remarks, the test email, the content, the body we selected in the activity. We didn't select any link documents in CRM for Outlook, but now we can see the attachment. There's only thing that you need to consider. Sometimes because of the speed of the internet, it takes a couple of minutes for the system to actually download the file, the full file, directly in our attachments predefined folder. Sometimes we could be a little bit scary because the file is not available, is because we have to wait until the Dropbox finished with the synchronization of this file. But as you can see, the path is there and the system is creating the document. Let's wait a couple of minutes to open the file we just attached. In the meanwhile, we're gonna open our CRM for Outlook server component. I have a subscription previously created over here. This is a configuration of my CRM for Outlook that I have locally. So if I select it and edit the subscription, I'm gonna enter my credentials because these are mandatory. Here is my setup of the server. I'm gonna just click on next. It's waiting, it's connecting, it's uh, creating the display for the connected databases. In my case, I have only one this test volume database that I have over here, but you, you will see here the attachments button. So in the setup attachments, if I hit it, you can see that as a provider, I selected Dropbox. If I hit a next, I already get an access token. This is like an API key I selected. The first time I selected Dropbox and hit next, another window pop-ups to include my credentials as we saw in the presentation. And now we finish, and this is the only setup required to use this functionality. Let's see if the document is already there. No, it's taken a couple of minutes, but we can open another activity created by another email previously. Probably this is because of my internet connection. Previously, I received an email from a coworker called Ariadne Palomeque. If I open this email, it is a test email, you can see a volume cloud sales presentation document over here. So if I go directly to SAP Business One, you will see the exact information, the test, the content with Ariadne's signature, no link document, and the attachment over here. If I double click into this file, you will see the Boyum Clouds presentation. Well, this one is in Spanish, but of course you can ask your partner to have it in English. Okay, we have one question before we finish this webinar. Now it's time for the questions. Can an email be attached to different documents such as sales order rather than activities? Uh, this is something we have been working on and uh, probably it will be included in the product very soon. Well, it was a short webinar. I see no more questions. Thank you for, ask, for asking. Thank you for your participation today. This webinar is, has been recorded and it will be available in our, in our YouTube channel very soon. Thank you.